A concerned native in Asemkom in the Alwin municipality of the Western North region is calling for the arrest and prosecution of persons attempting to carry out illegal mining activities in the area. The residents have consistently resisted any Galamsey activity in the town given the extent of damage in adjoining communities. In the latest development, the youth of the area cited two excavators which were allegedly brought by some unknown persons for prospecting. Due to their swift intervention, the machines were intercepted by the Assemkron police. They have therefore sent a petition to the police to be on high alert as they will continue to mount pressure on the relevant authorities to act. Joining me via Zoom is Reverend Father Dr. Joseph Blay, who is convener, who is the convener of Concerned Citizens of Assemkron. Good afternoon, sir. Now, good afternoon, sir. Could you please unmute your mic? Yes, good afternoon, madam, and happy new year to you and to all your cherished viewers. Thank you. Uh, many happy returns to you. Now, back to the story. Can you give us some details about this latest attempt to illegally mine gold in your area, and are the local authorities aware? Exactly. Thank you very much. So this is just happening when... Uh, you remember, I think you, you even telecasted and showed it on your uh, news when we wrote a letter with 20 points explaining why we wouldn't like Galamse to happen in Nazimkrum. And unfortunately, just on the 28th, two days ago of this month, I got the news that this excavator, led by some Ghanaians and always a Chinese kind, came there, but thanks to the youth, we have a very good youth that are really surveilling the place. So they gave me the information. I asked them not to cause any harm, but to report the matter to the police of Atsimkrum. And fortunately, the police intercepted the uh, excavator and then also the pickup in which you see a white, a white Chinese just sitting inside. And then we also made a report immediately. I called the MCE that this is what is happening in his jurisdiction. And yesterday, the MCE did very well. He followed up immediately to go and find out exactly what has happened, and he found that that is a reality. Okay, now, you have been persistent in your fight against legal mining in your town. The last time you spoke to us, you had petitioned the presidency on what, and what has been the response to your petition so far? Unfortunately, even the CEO of the Mineral Commission, I think by Curtis, if you receive such a very important, serious letter of people who are distressed, appealing to you, you could have even acknowledged a reply. None of them, and this letter was copied to 21 dignitaries, the president, the vice president, the police, IGP, uh, attorney general, chief justice, regional minister, and all who are immediately and immediately responsible for the area, none have responded. Now, um... Reverend, how far are you willing to go to get your concerns addressed? Well, the concern we are not giving up because we know that this is also abuse of human rights. If you see the pictures where they have mounted this excavator that was intercepted, there is a school, a primary school right behind it. Somebody's house is there. The video the people sent to me saying, what shall we do? Before, even before they start the excavation, it is an area that the river over have always overflows. So it is it's a dumpy area. Now there are schools also there. So what is happening? We are digging graves for the children. So it's something that against human rights and we cannot sit down. So if this is not going to end here, as I said, we have other international avenues. We have the Ghana Coalition of Ghanaians Against Environmental Abuse a network in Canada and UK. I am a member of the Franciscan International, which is an NGO accredited to the United Nations. And if we have to raise it there, I am telling the government because every four years, every country has to present his universal peer review. And when Ghana is presenting his universal peer review, we are going to make these things known to the United Nations, either at the Supreme Council in New York or in Geneva at the General Assembly. Thank you, Reverend.